Hey, great to have you back again. I'm Sean from visibledark.ca and in this video we're going to look at fixing the core of M42. So I'd like to say welcome to all the new subscribers. That's fantastic and I appreciate everyone subscribing and liking. If you haven't subscribed yet, uh, don't forget to do that and click the bell notification to be notified of new videos. Uh, okay, so when imaging M42, M42 is of course set for us uh, now and uh, this is a, an object that we'd start imaging again in the fall, late fall and, and winter time next year, but um, some of us may have data that we haven't processed yet or we have data that we want to reprocess because we're not happy with it. That uh, happens quite often uh, in the astrophotography uh, hobby. Um, when is an image really finished? Um, I don't think it's ever finished. But um, this uh, particular problem with the core of M42 and imaging it, it, it gets blown out and, and that's something that uh, we want to see details in the core of M42. We don't want it all washed out like that. So what is it that we can do to fix it? Well, it's pretty simple to do in Pix and Sight. Um, and what it requires is uh, using the HDR Multiscale Transform tool. And... To do that, there is a few steps that you have to do before you, you get to that point. Um, the first thing that you want to do is take your RGB files or your color image file, um, but your RGB files and combine them to make an RGB file. If you've done a one-shot color, then you already have your RGB file. Um, the second thing that you're going to need to do is the HDR uh, multi-scale transform gets applied after you've stretched the image. So the image has to be stretched using the histogram transformation tool um, as you normally would stretch an image after you've done your uh, DBE and your uh, color calibration and deconvolution and linear noise reduction. You, you would normally histogram uh, transformation, um, use that to stretch the image. Once the image is stretched and you can clearly see these details in it, that is the point in which you're going to use the HDR multi-scale transform tool. Before you do that though, you want to uh, you want to create a range mask and a range mask will allow you to protect other areas of the image while um, applying the HDR multi-scale transform to the core of M42 and possibly we could apply some to uh, this nebula on the side, NGC 1977, I believe it is. And uh, we could also apply some HDR multi-scale transform to this star just to um, knock it back a bit that uh, it's not so blown out looking. So how do we do that? Um, simple, go to process, mask generation, range selection. I'm going to reset it and I'm going to turn on the real-time preview. And you'll see that it's white when you do that. If you go to the lower limit selector and move that to the right, you'll start seeing a mask developing. And we can see where the core of M42 is. And we can also, we can also see the bright star down here, these two bright stars. And we can see some of the bright stars in this nebula up here being um, captured in this range mask. Now... You want to adjust this based on your own individual image and your own preference for how you want to um, affect things when you're making adjustments using the HDR multi-scale transform. I'm going to say that something like this is actually pretty good coverage for the core. It's a gradual uh, working in towards the center region and it gives it enough breathing room so that it doesn't look unnatural when we apply the HDR multi-scale transform. One thing that you're going to want to do though is you're going to have a lot of harsh edges so you're going to want to smooth that and you go down to the smoothness option and you slide that to the right and you can you could crank it all the way to 100 and it would be quite effective. Um, that smooths out the mask so you got a nice transition occurring um, with the HDR multi-scale transform, it's not, not harsh and defined um, and, and um, unnatural looking. So once that is done, you can create your mask by clicking the apply button. 
and we can close the range selection tool. We can close the real-time preview and we now have our mask. And we now want to apply this mask by clicking and holding this tab and dragging it over and releasing. That applies it. Now you'll see that it turns brown here. That indicates a mask is applied to this image and we can also turn on the real-time preview of the mask and see that yes it is uh, active. We've got red which is protecting and then we've got the core of M42 which is open uh, for applying the HDR multi-scale transform. So let's turn off the masks uh, real-time preview there so that we because we don't need to see the mask we just need to know that it's working. Um, in the HDR multi-scale transform tool as you open a default number of layers it works in layers um, the lower the number the more aggressive the higher the less aggressive it is uh, typically the the default six is a good starting ground you may have to adjust this up or down depending on your image and whether you like the effect that it's having or not and again it comes back to artist prerogative um, everyone's got their own little flair, own little taste on uh, how things should look, and that's fine. That's fantastic. Um, but you might have you might have to adjust that a little bit. So let's leave it at six, and we're going to want to leave it the scaling function set at the B3 spline five, and you're going to want to apply this to a lightness mask. Now here's where you can try and experiment. There's different selections that you can choose. I find with my M42 and this particular data here that I was given uh, to work with um, that applying the lightness mask, applying the HDR multi-scale transform to the lightness mask and applying it to lightness uh, creates an effect that I am not really happy with. Um, it looks exaggerated and I don't find it as pleasing to the eye. Let's have a look at what that does so you can understand that better. Um, what I want to do is create a preview window over the core so this is just a little faster and we can flip back and forth the before and after. There's our core and I've selected the lightness, this the HDR multi-scale transform to be applied to the lightness mask and to lightness. Now if I do that We'll see what happens here. It's not terrible, but it doesn't look quite natural to me. Um, it looks slightly unnatural. Although it did do a good job in uh, we're fixing the, the blown out over uh, saturated uh, uh, region in the core there. Um, I find in this particular case for M42, and your mileage may vary, but um, select unselecting to lightness and selecting preserve hue actually helps to um, maintain some of the natural colors that are occurring in the nebula region, in the core region. I find it more effective and uh, I, like, I like the look of it a lot better. So let's apply that one. We'll uh, go back to how M42 looks here with the core blown out and we'll now apply the HDR multi-scale transform with these new selections. And it preserved a lot of the core colors that are present. More importantly, we can now see details that we couldn't see before. And that makes a huge difference in the presentation of our image. Um, it makes a, a huge difference in the image looking that much more wow uh, when you can see the details right down to the core into the trapezium area. Now we are working in a preview window there just for quick before and after purposes so that we could see the difference that it makes applying HDR multi-scale transform. What we want to do now is apply it to our actual image and we'll also see the other regions this star here uh, affected. Um, we'll knock those back a bit so that uh, they're not so oversaturated and we'll fix some of these as well. So we do that simply by grabbing the blue triangle and drag and drop it onto our image. Pixinsight will apply the HDR multi-scale transform to the entire image now. 
it'll take slightly longer than when you were applying it to the preview window, but not too much longer. And when it's done, we'll be able to see the effect. So there we are. We now have the core of M42 fixed. It's not blown out anymore. We can actually see a lot of the detail that's occurring and we can continue on processing the image to further enhance the, the overall image but also enhance the specific features of M42. We'll also notice that these stars are not so overly bright. Um, they've been tamed and uh, it looks a lot better overall the image. It's a fantastic looking image and it's great data that uh, I had here to work with. So as we can see the HDR multi-scale transform tool did an excellent job in recovering the details in the core of M42. Um, I hope you find, as I said, I hope you find this useful and can incorporate it into your workflow. Um, don't forget to subscribe and like, really appreciate that. Okay, so thanks for watching. Clear skies, everyone. We'll see you in the next video.